Hey there, it's Tom Corsnold from OnlineInternetMarketingHelp.com and a lot of people have been asking about how I can uh, have someone else manage my Facebook ads for me to help with Facebook marketing. So I'm going to take you step by step through the process of how to set up your Facebook fan page and your Facebook account to have someone else uh, manage your Facebook ads for you. Now here I am on my fan page uh, and you'll see that there's the admin panel up here. So when you're logged into your fan page all you do is go up here and click the edit page and hit manage permissions. Uh, once you do that, it will take you to the manage permissions tab and you're actually going to go to admin roles over here on the left side. Uh, then what you're going to do is you're going to type in the name of the person here. So let's say I wanted to do Bob someone. Well I would click them, click their name and then hit uh, save and it will actually ask you to um, add your uh, password. You might want to make sure you have your password. So uh, there's for security purposes, or if someone else can't hack into your account and then you know spend all your money or post on your page as you or whatever. So you can actually type the person here. So I'll just show you just like that, and then you can pick whether they want to be a manager, a content creator, a moderator, advertiser, or insights list. So for Facebook ads, you want them to click advertiser. If you want them to just be a general manager of your page, uh, then you click manager and then they can see all of your insights, um, they can post as your page, they can do anything else that you can do as a page. A content creator can only post uh, new things, a moderator can do commenting and things like that uh, on, on the page, advertiser like I said can do ads, and an insights analyst can only get access to your insights so they can analyze things like that. Um, so that's how it works on that. But once you set them up as an advertiser and hit save, um, they're added on this side. But you also have to change it in the ad section. So once you've done that, you have to go to, uh, click the home button and click leave this page. So you click home to Facebook and you want to go to, add, to your ads manager right here and click ads manager. And uh, then you're going to go to settings right here. And once you get to the settings, you're going to scroll down and you're going to have permissions here. And these are the permissions for people who have access to uh, create ads and things like that. So you can hit add new user. Same thing as before, very similar. Oh, I'm sorry, you can't see it here. Let me see if there's a way. Let me see that. Okay, anyways. Maybe you won't be able to see it on the screen here, but on the right side of, of the page, you will see a uh, button that says Add a User. You can click that button, and this is what's going to pop up, and you have to enter the, their name or email. So if they're one of your Facebook friends, then you can type in their name, uh, or you can type in an email if they're not one of your Facebook friends, and you can click whether they want to be a general user or reports only. So a general user can do anything you can do with your ads. They can create new ads, they can cancel ads, they can do all that stuff. Or reports only is someone who can only look at your ad reports to kind of analyze how successful your campaigns are. So then you do that, you click add, and you're done. That person can log into your ad account, um, can create ads just the same as you, can create new ad campaigns for you. Um, so that's how you do it. And make sure to check out the blog at onlineinternetmarketinghelp.com. All right, wishing you an incredible day. Take care. Talk to you soon.